us a little while. 225 3170 is their phone number for all your insurance need, and uh, they do some other things too. So, 225 3170. Alan Kerr is my guest, he's state representative for District 32. And let's get back and talk about this whole jail reimbursement thing. State says it uh, costs them $56 a, a day to take care of a, an inmate. Right. They only want to give the county jail, you know, like $28 a day. Uh, you know in Pulaski County, since you're on the court, court, what the cost is. You've already talked about that. How much additional money are you thinking that the uh, state government should have to give to the counties? Well, we're trying to be reasonable. We know that uh, times are tough and even the state's money uh, is tight in places. But that being said, uh, they should not expect us to uh, shoulder to shoulder yeah. the responsibility of, of all that net loss. Um, we decided to, to keep it around the, uh, the federal return of $40 a day. And uh, uh, if you average out all the, the jails in the county, I'm sorry, all the jails in the state, then uh, they're all averaging around $40 a day, some less, some more. But um, we wanted to be fair, we wanted to be uh, reasonable, and uh, ask for uh, $40 a day, an increase from, from 28. Now, like I said before, this has not been changed even for uh, inflationary causes since 2001. Okay, so, Everybody in the state employees get raises and so forth, and, and uh, but, but we got county people out there working in these uh, uh, incarceration facilities that uh, are working hard, and they're trying to keep us safe. And one of the problems we've had specifically here in Little Rock is the fact that we don't have enough. Well, let me back up. We got enough beds now. We made some repairs to the jail. We made some structural repairs. So now we have enough beds. We just don't have enough funds to, uh, to maintain and uh, uh, you know, handle the upkeep uh, of all those prisoners. So what we need is, is uh, uh, just a little extra money to, to watch those prisoners, even if it is for the state for that period of time. Well, and, and if the state wants you to hold their, uh, you know, their jail birds, they should pay for it. I mean, that, that, that's only right. Well, I'm, I'm like you, Dave. I'm a, uh, if I owe it, I pay it type of guy. And um, I don't think the state should be any different. Uh, we're all Arkansans. We all are working together to try to keep everyone safe in Arkansas. And uh, the police forces are very frustrated, especially here in, in uh, Pulaski County. Uh, they're picking people up. They're having to turn them back out because we don't have any uh, employees at the jail to watch them once we get them there. Mm -hmm. So uh, what's the temperature of the house? I mean. You bring this forth. I mean, we had State Representative Hobbs from Rogers on. She's for it, mm -hmm. but uh, you need a whole lot more than just one other voter. Or, you know, down right. there in the in the well of the of the house. So, what do you what are you feeling? Well, like the parliamentarian parliamentarian told us when we uh, were sworn in, we we all need to make at least fifty one friends, and uh, to make sure we get anything passed. Uh, the temperature in the house is uh, pretty warm toward this. They. Uh, just everyone who's served on the quorum court or any kind of uh, city council is definitely for it. They understand the problems. They understand that uh, there's a tremendous need there, and uh, there's a lot of support in it, uh, for it in the house. However, however, the uh, governor mm -hmm. controls the chairmanships of the committees for the most part. Yes, they he does. they they do his bidding. Uh, I don't know exactly what committee this goes to, but. What's your feeling about getting it out of committee? I'm pretty feeling pretty good about getting it out of committee. Uh, I think it's going to go to city county, county local, and uh, uh, it may go to revenue and taxation. I, I don't it hasn't been assigned yet, but um, I'm sure that um, either one of those committees are going to be open to uh, to the cause of this. I mean, it, it has been this is not something that cropped up yesterday. It's been an ongoing problem, and I think they're ready to take care of it. Got a real good feeling about getting through the Senate. Uh, again, same type of situation. Those people have constituents in their their districts that uh, are having their houses broken into and having crime problems, just like everybody else. And you know, during tough times, when the economy gets tough, uh, crime escalates. 
So, you know, it, it's uh, uh, it's a sign of the times that we need to we need to make this change. Um, the executive branch is is probably going to be our stumbling block, or at least our toughest challenge. Just put it that way. It, it's going to be a challenge, but right. I'm up for it. And uh, like I promised my constituents, we're going to. We're going to run this. All right, a break, and when we come back, I'll, I'll talk with the state rep, Kerr, and if he's had a chance or if he'll have a chance to sit down and talk to the governor about this piece of legislation. That's all coming up here on the Dave Ellswick Show right now. Time for traffic and weather every 10 minutes on the nines. John Payne, how's our traffic, how's our traffic doing right now?